I wanted to try to get this capacitive touch sensor module working, but it turned out to have a bunch of stumbling blocks. So here's how I actually got it working and how it's been performing for me. This is based on the TTP229 touchpad detector IAC, and here's one place that sells these. They have a schematic diagram here. It has a power light, the chip with some default components, the header for power, ground, and serial clock and data, and eight discrete outputs. There's two headers that can have jumpers installed so that on power up, we can configure certain things. So out of all the options on this part, let's just narrow it down to say we want to try it in 8 key or 16 key mode with those jumpers because it would be good to get up to 16 buttons working. But if we actually want to use these eight outputs on the header on the board, we can only do that in 8 key mode. So we do have to try both. So we can get all 16 buttons working over this serial line or we put it in 8 button mode and we can get it over serial as well as eight discrete output pins. So we don't even need an Arduino or anything else if we're only going to use eight buttons. Looks like it can run at 3.3 or 5 volts, so we're going to use 5 volts. And here's where things became a mess. This datasheet says it has an I2C interface for the eight and 16 key modes. So I tried several TTP229 libraries, and they were using the address for the device, but I could never get it working. Long story short, there's a dash L version of the chip, which is I squared C, and a dash B version, which is just a two wire serial interface, not I squared C. So eventually I landed over here, how I waste my time. There's this blog post from years ago, basically summarizing the issues I was having. The jumper in this yellow area controls whether we are in eight switch mode or 16 switch mode, where eight switch mode also gives us eight discrete outputs along with the serial status of the switches. And these red outlined jumper areas control whether we are in single or multiple key press detection within each group of eight. I couldn't really get that to work very well, and it may have something to do with these pads are so close together and it's kind of awkward to press two of them at the same time anyway. So I'm just going to forget that. I'll link to this below, but there is a sketch provided, and that's the one I finally got working. Although the sketch is in this huge single file, so it's a bit hard to navigate, and it kind of looks like it was set up to be a library, but it's just an INO sketch. And if I knew how, I would parse this out into a library, but that'll be for the future. I did make a couple of changes. I defined the serial clock and data pins different from the original sketch, and I made one LED output pin on pin 4, just so that I can arbitrarily detect when capacitive button 6 is pressed, and the LED will light up when it's pressed and go off when it's released. So that will tell me that the sketch is working along with the serial monitor status. And then in this test event routine, if a button event has occurred, pressed or released, I added in that if it's button 6, turn the LED on or off. And that's the changes I made from the original, and it seems to work. Let's try this out in 8 switch mode and 16 switch mode. Here the capacitive touch switch board is getting 5 volts and ground from the Arduino. Serial clock and data are on pins 3 and 2 respectively. And there's no jumpers installed, so we are in 8 switch mode only. So when I press 1 through 8, I will see the status in the serial monitor, and also I'll see the discrete LEDs 1 through 8 lighting up over here. And in the Arduino code, I have it set so that if button 6 is pushed, the Arduino is going to light up a red light over here. The others are yellow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and now 6 is both. One's direct from the board, one's from the Arduino, and then 7, 8. And pressing the higher buttons doesn't do anything. So if I want all 16, so on the schematic, it's the jumper on K2 to bring this pull-down resistor into effect. 
and that brings us to 16 key mode. And we have to reboot this board for changes to take effect because it configures on power on. So we're now only going to get information about the switches over the serial connection. These eight discrete LEDs aren't going to work. And notice when I tried to press button 10, it just got 9 again. So after I was done, I tried pressing 10, and only on the third try did I get it. So it can be a little sensitive to targeting, I find. And the Arduino is still going to light up this LED when we press 6, because it's just hard-coded in software. Overall, because I do sometimes get false key presses from the one next to the one I'm trying to press, and even when I'm hovering too long after just releasing but I'm hanging around, or if I'm approaching the button too slowly I might get multiple triggers of the button I'm trying to press and maybe some nearby. I don't know if these are just too close together and if these were all just separate capacitive sensors that I could space farther apart maybe it would work better, but at least for now it's up and running and ready to go into a project.